Hey guys, how's it going? Another week, another update here with GBO2. So, we have um, quite a few tabs to go through. Uh, so, we're just going to go ahead and try to cover these as quickly as possible. We get to bed pretty quick. I noticed I ended up taking a bit longer than I wanted to to get to recording this. So, uh, if this one's a little late, that means YouTube took a while to process. Uh, and that's why. But anyway, guys... Um, a couple of these windows, I said there's a lot. Some of these don't uh, actually have anything to do with anybody outside of Japan. So just, I'll show these real quick, the ones I do know for sure that are in that case. So they're running a little promotion thing for people in Japan. So if you are from Japan or live there, um, if you follow their Twitter, uh, the, the official Twitter and stuff, and retweet uh, the tweet, uh, then you have a chance to win some things. A toaster. Um, whatever that is. Fully automatic coffee maker. Okay, so a coffee maker, a, a uh, Dyson vacuum cleaner, and something that is Gundam related. Is that just a poster? But anyway. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So, uh, there's that one. Pretty quick, easy. Um, I'm hoping this one's not just for everybody, or not just for Japan only. Also, they're opening a little thing where people can play, um, in, like, I think that's kind of cool. I wish there was more game shops like this, so this is really cool if they're doing that in Japan. I know there's stuff like that there. I like to see some more locally here, but a lot of times they get a little awkward to run, but I remember going and playing, like, trading card games and stuff. They would have like Xboxes in the back, but it would cost too much just to sit down and play for an hour or so with some friends. I mean, we normally wouldn't, we wouldn't even play at the hour, but anyway, there's a little nostalgia talk. So that's kind of cool. They're opening a thing there. This is showing they're trying to keep the support, the support for this. And this is probably where they're going to have tournaments and stuff. So keeping up the competitive environment that they're wanting to do. Um, I know there's some mixed feelings about them making this kind of more of a competitive game, but I think it's interesting so far. One of my favorite Gundam games. So, anyway, um, so this is when you join a clan over 101, and there was a weird thing where like either you couldn't join or like you would not get rewards or whatever. So maybe that's what this is saying. So new, newly join a level 110 clan. Uh, you have received a level up rewards from 10 levels. Uh, from level 101 to 110. So, I guess anybody who wasn't getting the rewards, they're giving them to. Um, I'm hoping that's what that means. Otherwise, they're doing might be doing a weird uh, thing as far as the how that you're receiving a level up rewards. So, I'm hoping that's all this is, is just talking about they're fixing the bug. Um, I'd kind of have to, again, this is kind of broken right now, um, English. So actually, you know what? We're going to open an image. Oh no, I clicked on something new. Rip. Okay. We'll see what we got for the English side of things. They've been doing it faster. So let's see, do we got, oh, we actually got some stuff. So this just looks like the base thing. So it probably doesn't have this. And we have GBO Day, so we will open that. Cool. So, um, I do not see any mention of the clan fix here. So, oops. But they do have a clan fix in, and they're doing something with CP. CP accumulated in clans are decreasing due to the above phenomenon. The internal clan level has dropped. Level seen from the clan information has not dropped. Because the internal clan level is lowered, it seems that even if you get a CP in battle, it's not reflective, or it's not reflected. Hmm. All clans whose CP has been reduced by this time to, like, I guess this update, that's interesting. 
If you log in, the target clan will be automatically compensated. Okay, cool. So for some reason, okay. For some reason, people's not getting CP at the end of the games. That's kind of interesting. They're still going to investigate it. And there's a big clan bug, I guess. Enlisting in a clan from the viewpoint of the individual by not but not enlisted from the corresponding clan. Oh, you're in the clan, but you're not in the clan kind of thing. That's weird. You're going to be looking to fix that. If it occurs when accessing, okay, each function related to the clan cannot be used. Okay, so then you just have to rejoin, I guess, right now. So we'll go ahead and take a look at Battle Op Day, GBO Days. So GBO days apparently from let's see is that reset? It was nine on Wednesday. PST. It should be now. What? Oh well we're gonna yeah, we're just gonna assume that it's sometime tomorrow. Um but you get one free supply drop can be requested each day during GBO days. Up to four mobile suits can be obtained. Uh, one supply drop will, with a guaranteed three star will be available during GBO days. Huh. Interesting. Sword rewards increase during GBO days uh, with even bigger bonuses for new and returning pilots. So they're probably doing the times three rewards for everybody that's new and returning. It's kind of cool. Uh, players who have played for 14 days or less are new and 45 days, haven't played for 45 days, is returning. Kind of cool. Okay. I'm up for free stuff. So, that should be starting today, which is weird that it's not up even with the update. So I'm guessing it'll be at reset, this coming reset. We'll probably get it. But, I might have to check the DP store again just to see if there was anything. That's kind of odd. Because right now, no wait, that's right, I did the 10 spin, or not the 10 spin, but I did a spin for it. I didn't see, I just saw the two banners. That's weird. But anyway, okay, so here's the clan thing again. Hopefully that's just referring to the bug and not some weird way to receive rewards. So. Hmm. If you exit the game without saving after display the above message, the same message will be displayed the next time. You oper uh, operate the terminal. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing they they apologize for any inconvenience. I'm guessing that's what it was. Um. Wait, what is this? We deliberately abuse. Oh, unintended actions in the game. Intentionally abused. Oh, uh, so they're banning people. I guess. Interesting. Receive level up rewards by performing a number of times that a clan with a clan level of 100 or more cannot be enlisted. Oh, so there's some kind of abuse going on with this, I guess. Huh, okay, I guess it's... Uh, that's that's kind of weird. Well, now, that changes things. So... customer who corresponds to the above operates the clan terminal after leveling up the details of the level up were displayed okay so yeah hopefully that's that's all that is they, they're not changing anything to make make it harder on people um yeah so port bases uh changed well not changed sorry they added a new a variant of port base and the changes on it are awesome um, the night, or the morning, rather, 
Um, looked amazing. Got to play one game in that. The first two HOVs launch, and then the third one launches a bit later. Closer to like at two minutes, I think, when it launched. These launched after the first minute. And yeah. Um, pretty cool. Played on Mountain. That opening is awesome now. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's changed to have that little slope. That's a big open area that you can hide in the back corner. Like, yeah, tons of fun. I can't wait to try this map too, just to see how that looks. The debris moving from the beginning to the end. Um, so there's a mix up. Okay, so I, I don't think there's nothing here. Oh, the strength engaged army is less than 20%. Oh, okay, got it. So nothing too crazy here looks like. Um, game roll, the battlefield control has now been applied. Oh, so, uh, so I guess you just lose your entire teams at cost. I guess that was a problem they were running into. That's actually kind of interesting, just not deploying. Oops. So what are they doing here with the results changed? What is this? Versus rival. Oh. It's determined by the number of wins in personal KOs. Here. It is determined by the value total score of KOs deviation value. It has been changed as the victory mark that was displayed for each. Oh. Interesting. Huh. So due to the above change, the rating value fluctuation due to versus rival will increase or decrease. So this is a huge change for rated. So if so it's now based on the total score rather than how many things you win against the other person. Kind of interesting. If you get 105 points or more, that's plus 7. If you're at 121 or less, you get minus 7. And if you're at 0, you're at 0. So now, there's not going to be any, pretty much any ties, hardly ever. Um, yeah, I'm going to guess there's gonna, it's going to be a whole lot harder to tie. Because, I mean, you could have like 0 0.1 difference. You would have to be exactly the same. That is a huge change. So rated. I'm curious to see how this uh, changes how much I go up or down. Really kind of curious on that one. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that one. I mean, my point is, though, now Xiong Shi's is even stronger. Destroy that base, you decimate the score on damage, so... I don't know. Is the Iron Cheese just got a buff? Just saying. Anyone? <laughs> um, okay, if they're online and stuff. Block player is red. Same clan as yellow. Okay, cool. If you select invite clan members or invite invitation really. Rip. Eh. Repeatedly using sort by group. There we go. That was hard to say for some reason. I'm gonna blame it on being late and tired. Uh, so clan related. What is this? If there are multiple rewards for improving the level of the clan or completing a task, the acquired content is to display together. Okay, that's kind of what they were saying in the other thing too. Okay, so that's just all that changes. And then you can receive the stuff level notation is displayed so you can know which level the reward is oh, okay cool so that's that's kind of cool in the enhanced facilities the cursor has been moved to the mobile suit that was maintained last time okay 
So you just re put it in. That's kind of cool. So the number of mobile suits owned by recruits who newly start um, Battle Operation 2 has been increased from the beginning. We got a Power GM, Imo Zaku, and GM Break. What is it talking about that? Is that a GM Kai? Or that's the GM Kai is what that's... It's weird that it would say break, though. I've never seen break. And now when you you see what it's from every time you get it, that's cool. And they added the full armor... Um, Brown Gundam. There we go. I'll, I'll say it right. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty hyped. The thing is, it's a general type. So we'll see that here in a second. They've got a dual banner going right now of the Pell Rider Heavy Arms Level 3 and the Pell Rider Space Type Level 3. Uh, definitely want both of those. There's so much I want now. Oops. Um, and I've only got one 10 spin coming up Wednesday that I'm going to do for the uh, full armor. We'll see what happens there. The uh, ground gun. Um, then we have the... GM Intercept Custom and the Bishop, both level 1, going into the ticket shop. I actually just picked the Bishop up, so I'll be playing it soon. And they added um, this normal suit in. So, there we go. That's kind of cool. And in the DP store, we have the uh, Galbaldi Alpha. And all of the level 4 defense parts got added to the DP store as well. Pretty nice. Now, um, I looked at some of these, and it looks like this is a bunch of bug fixes. Nothing too crazy that I saw from what I read, but um, a lot of this is the mix-up stuff that they were talking about before, and some of the changes that they were doing. Um, okay, so I saw the Hyakushiki, and I had to I had to read it. But, here we go. Here's what we got. Uh, I'll go through these kind of slow. Just to, if anybody wants to read these. And let me know if you see anything interesting. Um, right here. Well, let's see. Flight system. Performing a rapid ascent or descent. It was possible that some operations could not be accepted. That has been fixed. What are these? Life. Okay, they've just changed some stuff on it. Got it. Plan related. Spotting related? Huh. Base camp and customize related. Okay, cool. Um, didn't really see anything too crazy there, but again, if there is, let me know in the comments. Next page. So here we go, the full armor ground Gundam, ground type, or Gundam ground type, there we go. Um, 450 and 500 cost right now going in. It is a general suit, so it's pretty crazy. Um, go ahead and pull up the window here. Oh, didn't want to fully mute it, but. Okay. Definitely pretty hyped. I, I definitely want to get it. Come on, show me the missiles. Oh. I want to see the missiles firing at somebody. I'm wondering how it works as far as ASL. I'm guessing they fire from what it looked like. I like the SML um, gun cannon. So, it will be interesting to see how the, that works out. Um, other than that... It, here's the normal suit they added with it, and we've already discussed the Pell Riders. Okay, I think that's it for this one. No new notes. No big updates. That came before, so fair enough, I guess. And then here's just saying, woohoo, we got a banner up for it. And then we've already read about Gundam Day. So yeah, it looks like we made it through this one. That wasn't too bad. Um, definitely a pretty long one with a lot of stuff to talk about. So 
kind of got confused there looking at the clan thing. But anyway, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Usual links will be down in the description below. But anyway, that'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace.